And then we have more harvest crafting options. Last week we got a preview. Yeah, there are over 200 new. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Later this week we'll have the revealed full list. Ooh, we're actually gonna get the list. Nice. In the meantime, we're ready to preview another 13. Okay, change a unique into a paradox coins. We've seen that. We've seen this as well. We've seen this. Add an implicit modifier to a cluster jewel. Uh, what? Oh, yeah, these are all these are all T three seeds, by the way. Looks like, right. and this is this is one and this is two. Remove a critical modifier from an item. Man, the target on all are insane. Augment an item with a new life modifier. Augment a new item with a new life modifier with lucky values. God damn. Again, is the augment? Can we do this with to a rare item? Which is confirmed. Confirmed life roll. Sacrifice a map. Add one free infused domination craft to your map device. Infused domination. I mean, I I like that we have a lot of like sacrifice map for other things. I like that because we have such a high amount of them. <laughs> sacrifice map. Add one free infused rampage craft. Rampage craft. Hmm. Report the links between sockets on an item. It is much more likely to create a larger larger number of link sockets. Okay. Upgrades a normal item to a ran random rarity. <laughs> this is like a kind of like a chance drop, right? Reforge a rare item with new and that's like chaos. Okay. Much more likely to have a higher average modifier level. Okay. Set an item implicit modifier to the random. Set an uh, item's implicit modifier to a random synthesized modifier. The item can can't be influenced or synthesized. That's pretty nice. You know, all the, the shitty rings and amulets that you normally turn into talismans. If you had the, the chance and you remembered that you had those amulets laying around. Also, uniques. This, this, isn't this like insane for unique items, actually? Oh my god. We can make explode weapons? We can make... Wait, really? Oh, oh, shit. Oh, 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 ho, ho. Oh, yep. Also, uh, flat ES on gloves, for example, will make the gloves like uh, the. Let me show you what I mean. So currently, there's like no reason to not do sword gloves for the, the the build because it has higher ES, and eventually we'd corrupt them. But for a starter gloves, you could get but you would uh, you would still you would lose the implicit eventually with that. But yeah, for like the, for the first gloves, could use finger silks gloves that have a decent implicit. Yeah, explode on weapons is synthesized mod. Yes. So assuming they aren't like gutting the synthesized mods, you know, they explode from there. We we have a chance to have an explode mo like uh, items. Now. It's probably gonna be like stupid rare to get because there's so many modi there's so many modifiers. The only way to really made to make explosive weapons during the synthesis leaks was to brute force it to like 
one in three chance or something like that. So it was very low. But yeah. It, I mean, it, it is kind of restricting because it cannot have influence, right? So, and I'm assuming we can't influence a synthesized base. If we can, that would be interesting, though. I mean, it's a, okay, so it says that the item that we add the synthesized modifier cannot be influenced or synthesized. But can we then combine can we then slam it with an like an influence mod after to turn it into a influenced synthesized space i'm assuming no because uh, because then this wouldn't really mean anything like if they allow that then the whole point of dynamo can't be influenced to synthesize is kind of i mean it's not it's not entirely useless but still. But I, I haven't tried I haven't ever tried on synthesized items. I haven't had my my hands on synthesized item to test. You'll notice that one of these options allow you to roll a new implicit mod on a jewel. Here are some examples of potential outcomes. Man. I wonder if we can then change this implicit later. Oh yeah, you're right. You're right. You can't do it on the unique, I think. Because when you when you the unique that you yeah, yeah, I, I remember now because you couldn't chant, you couldn't chance a uh, synthesized base, right? So because it wasn't the it it wasn't the base that the unique is on. So for example, Chevron's wrappings is on in an occultist vestment, but when you add a synthesized implicit on, into it, then it's gonna be synthesized occultist vestment, which isn't the same. So yeah, that's a good point. I think I didn't think about that. Hmm. Movement speed. Increase total recovery per second from life leads. Hmm. Shit, dude. This is uh. That's some exciting stuff. If you vault the item, it's gonna lose the implicit. But this is basically like exalts for for jewels. It look oh, but that, that that's not a synthesized modifier. This is just an implicit added implicit. This is this is not a synthesized modifier. Man, that's that's pretty exciting stuff. I'm getting even more and more excited of all the crafting things. Hmm. I think we still had a, another thing here. Harvest introduces a small quality of life feature. To hide, remove only taps. Yes! Yes! So when I move my shit from solar cell fund to trade, I can hide them? Oh god, yes! Yes! That is so nice. Okay, what is Bex memeing here? What, what thread is this referring to? I don't know. Uh, wait, just discuss how to get what? Oh, so this was just talk something like this was talked about, okay. 
Okay, 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 okay. I see what's happening here. <laughs> the server admins would be uh, stalked if everyone cleared their tabs. Oof. Yep. Yep. And then we also have a divination card. Hmm. Yeah, it was at least implicit to class control, yes. That's uh probably gonna be stupid rare to get. She took all she had and turned it into something she was craving. I like this. Energy, I mean, well, it's, it's especially because it's double corrupted too. Guaranteed two implicits on this. Your card, nice. Hmm. Wings of Entropy, no on an Ezomite X space type, though existing items remain on a Thundering Axe. Now grants a chance to block spell hits from a bit... Okay. Chance to block that? Okay, that's also buffed. Still all shards. Weapons can now work correctly with it. Oh. This is the big buff. Big for all them dual wheel 200 fire chaos builds. Yep. Okay. Anything else here? From like Viper or Mark, maybe? Just... oh! Fist of War does not have a cooldown. Mm hmm Hmm... Okay. Cool stuff. Oh, so it's from here. We had a discussion about stash deletion. Okay, okay, okay. You should see the way our server admin <laughs> furrows its brow when we talk about all the item store and people accounts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we all. Also know that Manifesto is 9 pages and 3,500 3, words in patch notes. There is one, uh, one of one spell slinger. Oh, oh shit. Oh, you know what it is? You know what it is? <clears throat> Bane now correctly applies curses when used with spell slinger. Boom, buffed. <laughs> that would be amazing, by the way. <laughs> that would be great. It's not, it, that's not gonna happen, but that would be nice. That would be kinda cool. Cooldown. Oh, don't talk about adding cooldown like that. That hurts me. Um, anything else? Has Bex done anything cool on Twitter today? Oh, wait, what is this? I 
at least one of those has been nerfed. Wouldn't it be hilarious if bone offering recover percentage of life ES when you block shields, glancing blows, and wall molten shell got nerfed in 3.11? You know what's interesting about this? What if, what if our boy Havok is abusing all of Axe's information to make predictions to then call that he was right when something got changed? Now, that's a hot take, but what if? What if? Makes you think. Doesn't.